Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's 2023 recruiting class video for the week. It is Thursday, February 23rd, and today we are going to talk about Ohio State wide receiver Carnell Tate. But before we do, this is Tyler Johnson at T underscore Johnson underscore TJ on Twitter. So go shoot me a follow. Uh, again, last week was the first week of our 2023 recruiting class series for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Uh, appreciate all the support we got in the first video. Um, overwhelming. So really thank you guys for that. Um, please drop a like on today's video. That helps the channel algorithm grow. It helps get our content out to other people that aren't in the state of Ohio. So really help us with that. We would appreciate it. But also, if you're brand new to the channel um, and you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. You can do so for free. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of winter. We're only 24 away, and that's because of you guys. So for those of you that aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And today, like I said, we're going to talk about Carnell Tate, the Ohio State wide receiver, another fantastic wide receiver that uh, – new offensive coordinator Brian Hartline has secured for the Buckeyes continues to do a marvelous job uh just adding the talent that he can that he adds every single year at that position um uh, he it's a mix of where you're seeing him ranked uh 24 7 sports has him as a five star but if you go around the country he's more at about a four to four and a half to five star player it kind of just varies a little inconsistent with his rankings but Either way, Cardinal Tate's a fantastic talent. Uh, 6'2", 180 pounds, coming from IMG Academy. I mean, you guys know IMG. They are known for producing talent. That's why people go to IMG Academy is to go Division I. Um, he was recruited by Ohio State, LSU, Tennessee, Alabama. I'm in Arizona. <laughs> it's funny seeing Arizona on that list. But anyway, his comparison is to Calvin Ridley, now Jacksonville Jaguars wide receiver, former Alabama wide receiver. Um, one of the things that Carnell Tate does really well is he's a really good route runner. And I know we say that a lot with receivers, Ohio State recruits, but that's something that goes a long way with um, offensive coordinator Brian Hartline, head coach Ryan Day. And again, 6'2", 180 pounds. I mean, he's kind of a slender athlete, but I mean, he played a really good game against St. Francis Academy this year. Uh, six catches, 130 yards, two touchdowns. And I mean, Keep in mind with IMG Academy, they're playing a national schedule. They're not, they don't have conference games. They're playing national teams across the country. So, like when you hear his stats and he caught only 30 passes for 70 for 777 yards and eight touchdowns, you might think that's all he got. But keep in mind, he only played in, eight, in nine games total. So, just something to keep in mind there. I mean, he's a fantastic talent, and you know, Ohio State just keeps adding them at wide receiver. He's willing to block downfield, which, of course, you have to be able to do if you're going to see the field at Ohio State. And given the talent that he possesses, he is projected, again, we're further down the line, but projected to be an early round NFL draft pick. He can play inside, outside. So that versatility is something that Ohio State's really going to love to have because a lot of their wide receivers, you you can move inside outside and Mecca Buka is a great example. Julian Fleming has played inside and outside. Marvin Harrison Jr. is more of an outside guy, but has played both. Jaden Ballard, more of an outside guy, but Ohio State likes the guys that are versatile. And that's exactly what you're getting with Carnell Tate. Now, some of the skill rankings according to 24 or 7 sports. Uh ball skills, they give a 10. Yards after the catch a nine, route running a nine, hands a nine. Um, speed of seven. But again, Ohio State doesn't really look for those burners. They're just looking for solid all-around football players at the wide receiver position. They're not necessarily looking for a guy that just because he runs a 4-3 or a 4-2 that they're going to automatically recruit him. They're looking for overall talent. It's exactly what Carnell Tate possesses. Now, how much will he play this year? Another question that we asked with Brandon Inus um, from last week's video. You guys are going to want to check that one out if you haven't already. Carnell Tate, I don't know if he's going to see the field this year. It's really going to come down to injury in there. And it's also going to come down to if anyone transfers. I mean, you have Jaden Ballard, who they believe is going to take on a bigger role. But you still have Julian Fleming, Emeka, Buka, Marvin Harrison Jr. So that's four receivers right there. You add in Brandon Ionis. You add in Noah, Rod Noah Rogers and uh, Bryson Rogers. I mean, it, it's, it's a large group of wide receivers that Ohio State is bringing in. And you just have to wonder if he will see the field this year. We don't know. And we're, we're going to end up finding that out here. Um, when we get to spring ball, spring ball is going to tell us a lot, but keep in mind, still a long way to go with that. 
I am really curious to see uh, how much he does play this year because I, I do agree. I do believe he's a really good talent for Ohio State, and you want to try and get those guys on the field. But also, you might be able to take advantage and use him as a redshirt. You can have him play in a couple games, some of those mop up games, and then redshirt him. And I think the same could happen to Brandon Ines as well. So that's today's. Um, 2023 recruiting class with uh, re recap with Cardinal Tate. Uh, next week's video, again, we're going to talk about another wide receiver. I kind of want to get the wide receivers out of the way just because so much talent that Brian Hartline has brought in. But again, if you guys enjoy the content, please drop a like on today's video. Help that channel algorithm grow. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Can't wait to talk to you guys all again next week. And go Buckeyes.